I eventually decided not to bring it up to Central or Tigan, at least not until things settle down some. Research is proceeding as planned, Commander. Avenger plotting new course. Resistance communications facility now operational. Warfare Center construction initiated. Setting course for the Brazilian Corridor. Attempting to establish local regions. The outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. Although I would expect to be growing more accustomed to seeing the clear intermingling of both human and alien genetic material, I must admit, this reptilian creature with such distinctive human features is surprisingly unsettling. Invasion era reports include references to a species with some reptilian qualities, but nothing is readily apparent as this. I find it unusual, to say the least, that the subject so often referred to in the past as the Thin Man has now been revealed to actually be a genetic derivative of this wholly reptilian creature.
Central Officer Bradford has personally substantiated claims that the massive frontline unit they call the Muton was actually at one time even larger than the specimen I have before me today. As it is, the creature is abnormally warm to the touch for a corpse, and I must say, it is quite disconcerting. The aliens make a strong statement by fielding these massive creatures as their frontline combat units. I doubt they thought anyone would resist when faced with the alternative of staring down a muton. These robotic units, developed by Advent, seem to be wholly autonomous, capable of targeting and engaging selected units without reliance on external verification. Although it falls on me to work through the initial disassembly, I fully intend on involving Shen in this process, as her knowledge of robotics far outweighs my own. I certainly admire the courage and tenacity displayed by our troops in the field. They face a well-armed, well-trained enemy, and yet they never waver in their loyalty to the cause. Hey, Commander. Good, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. 
Advent has legions of these mechanized units out there helping to keep the peace. As far as I can tell, they're fully automated and armed to the teeth. see a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. Commander? habit of scratching that scar on the back of his head. I wonder if anyone made sure his chip was actually removed. Commander, we have the position of a vulnerable UFO that's set down in this region. If we move fast, there's a chance we could recover a nice haul of supplies and equipment. 